Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about the facet fuel pump. This is the 478360 Echo electronic fuel pump, which is replacing the interrupter style, which had contact points, better known as the TAES 21,000. I'm sorry, 2100-3 fuel pump. So stay tuned while we look at some more pictures on the mounting flash, and we have a little fun with the fuel pump. We're not running out. We would like to ask you please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. Now the thing about the fuel pumps that we have is they're not really rebuildable. We can replace the filter and we replace the gasket and of course the safety wire and the connectors. But the plunger assembly and the contact point assembly is all sealed in metal and therefore we can't get to it to replace it when they wear out. They just have to be chunked. Take the good bits off of it and hang on to it. But pretty much that pump is done. The new ones are the new electronic style. And that's what we're going to talk about here. And Fletcher has a procedure for those. Now this is what a fuel pump. And right there it says genuine facet fuel pump made in USA. And or assembled in the USA. And you know there's your mounting flange on the back. The sticker from Fletcher. You can see the wire for the 12 volt positive side the ground is through the tab on the bottom and then of course their label with the TAES 2100-3 electric fuel pump and then of course Fletcher's PMA number on the label below it that they had taken it through all the testing and then on one tang you have negative 12 volts and then on the other tang as Barry uh, chopped liver on the Grumman gang marked you have the part number 478360 echo and then there is the inscribing from the engineering log for the fuel pump the test date there you go so that's how Fletch Air tests that fuel pump and then when you order them they'll be wrapped up and sent to you in a box but uh, they're not hard to install you need a 12 volt butt splice connector usually to hook in your fuel pump and they should be good for about another 40 years you want to clean that filter every year keep water out of the system and you want to keep the trash out of the system that's where that filter in the bottom is so nice but again the other day we were calling Fletcher to ordering parts and you know we told them we wanted um, some fuel pumps and they put them in a box they're all wrapped in bubble wrap and the bubble wrap is stacked and there's paper on top and paper below so they're not damaged but that's how a fuel pump comes now these pumps the model number uh, David Fletcher said is no longer available I'm sure we'll be able to work out an alternative especially under the vintage aircraft rules for um, similar parts on similar airplanes and anyway here's a couple of pictures this is the fuel pump with the label and all just shown sitting there on the desktop and as you can see all the uh, facet stickers have been removed from it there is the 12 volt negative tag when you mount it be sure to use a star washer to cut into the metal to get a good ground to the firewall that way you get a good electrical ground and then here's the engineering number scribed in there Looks like they're scribing missed a little bit on the bottom, but ending in TAES 2100-3 and the date 0202-2022-14. And then finally, the part number on the tang on the bottom, 478360-ECHO. So, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you found all this useful and informative about the facet fuel pump. Probably more than you ever wanted to know about getting fuel to your engine, right? So, anyway, thanks so much for watching and have a great day flying your Grumman. apologize for the lighting because a lot of times I don't have time to go turn on a light when I want to film them playing with paper on the floor or wrestling with each other. A lot of times it happens in the wee hours of the night and I just can't throw enough light on there. So please accept my apology and enjoy their antics and their fun. Thank you. 